how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? And so Paul goes through this series of propositions or uh, statements there. And, and the word apostle means one who is sent. And we celebrate today one of the apostles who was sent. And it's interesting, you know, we had the reading from the, the Gospel of Matthew of Peter and Andrew being called and leaving their nets and going with Jesus. But there's another incident where we have Peter and Andrew encountering Jesus. And this is when Andrew, and this is recorded for us in the Gospel of John that we didn't read this morning, where Andrew meets Jesus. And he's impressed with Jesus. And he goes to find his brother, Peter. So Andrew and Peter, Simon and Peter are brothers. And he goes and he says to his brother, I found the Messiah. I found him. Come. And so Andrew brings Peter to Jesus. And I think that ties in with this reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. We see Andrew doing his apostolic work. And his apostolic work is proclaiming the Christ. Who proclaimed Christ to you? You can think about that for a minute. You know, most of us were baptized when we were babies and we were brought up in church. And, uh, and, and somewhere along the line, the faith that our parents had or the faith that our grandparents had or whatever became our own. Somewhere along the line. There, there is this beautiful gift that has been given to us, and that is the gift of faith. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. This is another passage from the first reading today, St. Paul's letter to the Romans. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. Andrew brought the good news to his brother Peter. Now, we don't know what happened between that encounter and the encounter on the Sea of Galilee when they left their nets and went and followed him. But obviously there was probably some more time where Peter got to know Jesus as well. And then the time came for the call for them to come on, let's go. I want you to think about this. Who have you brought the good news to? And what a challenge it is for us sometimes to imagine that I'm supposed to be an evangelist. And I'm not speaking just for myself, I'm speaking for all of you. You're supposed to be an evangelist. Your feet are supposed to be beautiful. And they're beautiful because they bring the good news. What a gift it is to share. And so we, we remember Andrew today. We remember Andrew sharing the good news with Peter. We remember Jesus calling them. And, uh, and we pray that that good news, the good news of our lives. Uh, and I'm going to just mention this ever so briefly, as briefly as I can. You know, who made you, right? You know the answer to that, right? Who made you? Are you sure? that your life is not an accident? Are you sure that you were created by the God who loves you? And why did he create you? Why are you? This is part of the good news. We were made to participate in the life of God. We were made, God is love. We were created to participate in the life of God. You know the God that created the universe? 
the God who spoke and said, let there be light and billions and trillions of stars and galaxies. How do we participate in the life of God? Have you ever received Holy Communion? Have you ever received Holy Communion? What is Holy Communion? The body, blood, soul, and divinity of the God incarnate. God has invited us, he's created us to share in his being. That's good news. This is what Andrew was in the business of bringing, right? How beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. And so we pray that we have beautiful feet today, right? Beautiful feet that have received the good news and can share the good news.